I'm an engineer by background and came to Stanford for business school where I met, uh, met Sam. Became friends, uh, started chatting about different ideas, uh, what we might do after business school. And uh, yeah, we hatched the idea of actually starting a solar installation business. Um, at the time, focused on emerging markets uh, where energy is a big issue in terms of uh, access, uh, reliability and cost. And so we thought solar would be a great, uh, great solution for that. During our summer of, of uh, business school, we uh, put together this pilot project, which was a boarding school in Nairobi, Kenya, did the whole thing soup to nuts, um, found the project, designed it, uh, sourced uh, suppliers, financed the system, flew down there and installed it. The system was a, was a great success, uh, but we also you know, um, realized how cumbersome the whole process was of, of, going, of going solar, of designing solar. We were meeting nights and weekends uh, out of our dorm rooms in Palo Alto trying to design the optimal solar installation for a site halfway across the world. And part of the challenges there were, first of all, it was our first time doing anything of this scale. Second of all, we weren't on site. We had to hire people locally to go and take a bunch of measurements for us, take a bunch of photographs, and we'd get all that information back to our dorm rooms after our classes were done, and then try and put together a solar installation that would work. It did take us essentially a year uh, to do something that we thought should be much easier, much faster, and is something that a lot of other people go through. If you look at any solar professional, there are essentially three key things that they need to do in order to come up with a solar installation for a property. The first thing they need to do is be able to figure out how many solar panels will fit on the property. The second thing they need to do is forecast how much energy those solar panels will produce. And the third thing they need to do is how much, figure out how much money that will save the customer. What Aurora does is it streamlines the entire process of answering those three questions. When we were reviewing companies for uh, this year's AI50 list, Aurora Solar jumped out because it was one of the most interesting applications of AI technology. Uh, typically we see AI being used for lots of things like self-driving cars, a whole range of office and business services, uh, cybersecurity, things like that. But what Aurora Solar is doing is a little bit unique where um, they are using these advantages that you can get from advanced AI uh, to custom design um, solar power systems that uh, on, on rooftops that might ordinarily be a little too difficult uh, to put solar on. There's a process of designing an optimal solar installation and doing that in an efficient, uh, timely manner is actually really difficult. There's many different steps you have to uh, run through, many things you can optimize, right? Like where you place the panels, depending on the roof geometry, depending on the, the shading that might be from a tree or so forth different design configurations and so uh, machine learning and the optimization tools that we developed allows us to automate the entire process of designing a solar installation. It wasn't easy in the early days. Uh, back when we started it was just we came out of the wake of the first uh, clean tech boom. Um, a lot of people had lost a lot of money um, you know, investing in technologies that didn't work out and so um, solar was not a, not a hot thing back then. The first five years of the company's life we basically grew the company on um, what is a very relatively small amount in funding uh, for a company based out of Silicon Valley. But then within the last three years, we've had a tremendous amount of traction. To date, the company estimates it's designed nearly 8,000 individual projects for about 7,000 residential and commercial customers. It's raised more than half a billion dollars including a $200 million funding round announced in early 2022. And presently, it's valued at $4.4 billion, according to a pitch book estimate. Wind and solar together are going to be almost half of our energy mix by 2050. And so it's an incredible transformation that's happening. And so it was clear to us, like, to get from where we were then and even where we are today to that future, there needed to be a streamlined process uh, and a data-driven way of designing uh, and installing and deploying these solar installations at scale. I would say that the one metric we've always tracked, this is from before we had any customers and when we were just first building the product and continues to be true till today, was the number of projects, that is addresses, that our software is being used to design solar for, right? And I still remember the big milestone of the point where we got to a thousand addresses a week Right? We couldn't believe, it was like, this is amazing. A thousand addresses a week are going through our software and being designed by it. 
more recently it's 100,000 a week and we want to get to the point where it's 100,000 per day. So those are the milestones that keep us going. And yes, the funding, valuation, all those things enable us to get there, but that's ultimately the real goal that we're going for.